After a two year delay, Tampa International Airport is nearly ready to move forward with plans to build a new terminal. Yeah, and tonight JJ Burton giving us a look here at how that new terminal is supposed to make a big difference. Right now, with its four passenger terminals and two cargo terminals, Tampa International Airport can accommodate up to 21 million passengers annually. But Tampa is growing. That means the airport has to grow with it. We work really hard to get our campus in front of growth. We don't like to be in trying to trying to figure it out as the community is growing. The plan is to build a new terminal, which will be Terminal D. It will have up to 16 gates to accommodate both domestic and international flights. Then the airport will be able to accommodate up to 38 million annual passengers. Customer service is always the highest of what we what we do here in this building will no doubt reflect that and it will, will certainly reflect uh, the Tampa Bay community. Construction for the project would have started two years ago, but the pandemic forced officials to push it back. Due to that and inflation, the price tag is higher. It's now estimated to cost a little less than $790 million. Originally, it was supposed to be about $690 million. Half of the funds will come from the airport. The rest will come from federal and state grants. The layout for the new terminal will be just like the others, with TSA right up at the gates. The recipe for Tampa International is having the security screening checkpoints at the airsides to decongest all that movement of people and spread them out throughout our campus. We like that because it's a better level of customer service. The Aviation Authority Board still have to give the green light before things can move forward. They plan to vote in September. If approved, the hope is to start construction in late 2024. J.J. Burton, ABC Action News.